Yo, 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 we yo. back once again with the True Hip Hop Podcast. It's your boy DJ Blaze. And that guy again. Wolverine. <laughs> we back for episode 81. 81. Hey, what we up, do bro? it. Oh, we make it better every day, Blaze. We make this channel better every time we do it. But before we get started, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Right now. Like, comment, and share. <laughs> right now. Now it helps us out tremendously <laughs> on the algorithm. Definitely show your boys some love. We do this thing for y'all. Me and Wolf appreciate all the love that y'all been giving us, but y'all ain't been subscribing, so hit that bell. Bing! Oh, you <laughs> got it. There we go. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> but we finna dive right into this hot content, man. Yesterday, T.I. was in the uh, Double XL magazine, and he was speaking kind of crazy, if you want to call it. But, yo, I'm going to read what the guy said, man. He was like, MFers ain't, can't F with me in no way, shape, form, or fashion when it comes to doing this music thing. T.I. said in the clip, I got a lot of other shit going on, so I don't do music like that on a consistent basis. I don't depend on that to feed me. You heard me? But when you talk about doing this music thing right here, cutting records, talking about talking shit on a record, that's me. And ain't anything better than that. I'm, I'm challenging everybody. You can come bring Jay-Z, Kanye West, Pusha T, Nas, Lil Wayne. All y'all can come see me. I'm better than all of y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, that dude is shady. <laughs> but he bagging out of Buster, right? And then Buster, as um, soon as he put that video, Buster responded with a video. And he was like, come see me. Why are you avoiding Buster Rhymes, T.I.? Why? That is you the know what main I'm saying? question. I don't care if he did start in 1990 or whatever the he year wanna was. He want to put a limitation on a, on, on a era? Too? Yeah, he said Buster can't do no songs. Um, before 2001, because he started in 2001 with I'm Serious album. So you can't do none of those, er but it doesn't matter. His catalog runs so deep. Yeah. I and mean, then you, then, then, you, so then he backs out of the Buster Rhyme ordeal. Yeah. And then he want to call out Lil, he, why would you call out Lil Wayne at the least? <laughs> like, for real, like, you have Nowhere near comparison. Now push your T. I understand push your T, but push your T got sponsored from uh, what McDonald's and Arby's. Yeah, but that's not a good matchup. I think a better matchup is Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Or a Fifty Cent because they got the similar styles with the. Nah, he can't see Fifty. But they got similar styles. Far as a matchup. He can't see Fifty. You know. He ain't said. Which I can't sleep on Ti. He got. Um, Ti with, with Trail, that, yeah, he, King album. I'm serious. Got, Urban he got Legend. a lot of good, good track, good music. A lot but of good Wayne do too. Yeah. You know. But I mean, you know, Wayne just was on produced so much, written on so much. Yeah, he got a lot of features and records he could pull out. Yeah, I mean that's that's mm -hmm. real deep. And then you talking about Jay? Uh, you oh no, nah. he's just talking now. Nah, now nah, you talking out your ass Kanye. now. Kanye, yeah, you, you, you. Yeah, you. leave the New York people alone, man. Start with your people in the south. Start man. with Lil Wayne or Jeezy or a little Chris. Start with people in the south. And he then probably work your way to New Jeezy. York. Yeah, uh, I mean, you that's know, a, but, a fair matchup. That's a, but Jeezy already did one, so you got to figure. Remember him and Lil Flip was beefing. Yeah, but that, that he destroyed Lil. And then Lil Flip said. He ain't gonna do the verses unless they give him three million dollars. Like who gonna give you three like, million dollars? You got you got six tracks at the most, bro. He came here, Prodigy booked him for three hundred dollars. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I remember when he came too. <laughs> I was down there, Prodigy. I remember that. <laughs> I came down there. Yeah, he too. talking about three million. Stop yeah, it. Come on, three, that means you're scared. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's scared of that one. And he can't even. Buy, I can't even. He got to go against Paul Wall or Mike Jones. You got to couple cats. Hey, yeah, slip yeah, dunk. You ain't going to see the T.I., man. Nah, you ain't seen that. You don't that. want that. But yeah, man, y'all comment below, man. Let us know what y'all think. T.I. calling out all the industry. Jay-Z, Kanye West, Pusher T, Nas, all of these cats. But, but Duncan Buster. Buster. 
you know? Woo! I got you all in check. <laughs> yeah, that would, man, Buster would, I don't know, man, Buster might get him with that. Buster will get him. Yeah. But I mean, you know, T.I., like you said, T.I. got a category. It's just I mean, he definitely you, um, pull that out. But I don't like that matchup, man. Nah, I don't like that matchup either, though. But yeah. It'd be good for the second. But yeah, we gotta move on to other hip hop news. You know, yesterday, man, on the clubhouse, Wack 100 is in there. You know what I'm saying? Wack 100 keeps talking on the clubhouse. In his latest discussion, he said that Master P has nowhere near the money he claims to have. He said Feds took all his money, and he's not really out there selling noodles like that. Wack then said. <laughs> <laughs> Wack then said Nick Cannon is a much Damn. richer than Master P That's and shouldn't obvious. be telling anyone about money. You lost all your ownership to the feds back in 2004. And Master P doesn't even have as much money as Baby from Cash Money. No, he don't. That's, mm-hmm. a, that's I mean, you know, that's re- reasonable. I mean, you ain't saying nothing that nobody don't know. I mean, but why are you trying to terrorize Master P? What that got to do with you anyway? Because he mad that Master P uh, told Nick Cannon that um, he shouldn't have apologized for saying them anti some He can say what he want. Him. He got a right for his own opinion. I mean, that's just, just like Nick Cannon got the right to do what the heck he want to do. I yeah, mean, he not said only- that Master P shouldn't tell him anything because he's broke. I don't, I'm broke, but yet it's still, if I say that I don't feel like he apo- should apologize, I don't feel like he should apologize. <laughs> right. But see, man, what, man? How many times has he man, been Man, why just try to be make himself a relative? I mean, he, every week, it's yeah, the last week, podcast, 21, um, man. Savage, 6 9 Jim Jones, all the time. He keeps stuff going, bro. Now he's with a Roddy star. Rich. Roddy Rich. Bro, with well, Roddy right. Rich and that. That was last week. Uh-huh. Like, come on, man. He's trying to stay relevant. That's now, all he ever do, bro. Y'all are getting sucked yeah. into this every time by saying the most ridiculous <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what did that have to do with you, whack? You know what I'm saying? Nothing. You know, oh. He's trying to expose Master P. But Master P, yeah, there's still, he's still an entrepreneur. He got enough to feed his family. His kids is all situated. So, I mean, whether he got. He got a net billion. worth of $200 million, man. Whether he sold that catalog back in the day, you know he what I'm saying? He got a net worth of $200 million. Like. He said, that's know. why he's trying to come up with his own sneaker. Yeah, yeah like sneaker, I mean, noodles. You supposed to? I don't understand. What, it was, I don't understand. Well, what's the problem with somebody coming out with, with a you know, shoe, like, shoe or noodle? Like I, I mean, that's smart. The Chinese, but we've been paying them Chinese and Koreans. Yeah. What seventy five cent, fifty cent a pack of Roman? Yeah, for years. For years, <laughs> and they, yeah, man, and they ain't, even if they even got them in the county. Right. So imagine if he can get his stuff in the judicial system. He gonna be rich. Well, shit, I see that shit in Miss Tracy's. I but see I'm all saying that if he can get it in like where, where cats order it in prison, get their prison order. Right, yeah, that would be dope. That'd be dope. Yeah, man. So but, yeah, it's see, good, Master right. P is an entrepreneur, Wack One Hundred. Think bigger. What are you doing? I don't see nothing with your name on it. Nothing. <laughs> but Wack One Hundred, because you on some Wack shit. You on bro. some clubhouse starting stuff with teenagers. Stop it. Yeah, man, you like about fifty eight. <laughs> They be beefing with these young kids. Is he like 50 something, 58? Yeah. He too old, man. Make, the, make <laughs> yourself relevant on something that's more positive, yeah. something that's more relevant. Exactly. Man. Yeah, y'all comment below, Some man. Some people would just be reaching, though. Let us know what y'all think about WAC 100 saying Master P is broke and rich. Nick Cannon is richer than him. You know? We know that. Nick Cannon is richer than a lot of people. What? Nick Cannon works hard as hell. Yeah, like, what did the <laughs> money have to do with anything? That that I happened? mean, Nick Cannon worked hard as hell. Nick Cannon got a lot of uh, things going on. Yeah, he definitely got that chicken. He got, a, he got that chicken. And he mm-hmm. kept himself relevant for years. almost 20 years now. Definitely. You know, so, of course, I mean, he's living a very good life. And without the, all them kids, he probably uh, had more than that. <laughs> but we got to move on to other hip hop news, man. Yesterday in the Source magazine, it revealed that 50 Cent is the first black producer to have over 200, and 200 million streams mm-hmm. for his five shows. You Give him a hand said? clap, y'all. Give him a hand clap, though. He had power, 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 power
You know what I'm saying? Ray and Kenan. all them little, he got them little, that prank show he had. Yeah, but they just talking about the stuff he had on Stars. You but know? they ain't talking about everything that he, all his streams. He got his streams for his music videos. His streams. Oh, yeah, he had a billion if you count that. That's yeah. a billion streams. But yeah. they just saying first black uh, producer for a TV network mm, like that. Network streams. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a good look, 50, man. Definitely, Shout out man. to you, man. Go ahead and give us that contract, but we ain't no fool. <laughs> we ain't signing no buck contract. <laughs> but yeah, man, they I also said, um, the before I just, they said, um, Jimmy Hensman might be getting out on a loophole, man. What? Yeah. He's supposed to be doing nine life sentences, but they said it's some type of loophole. He might get out next month, you know? But they said he won't be able to get near 50, you know. If y'all know who Jimmy Hinchman is, you know what I'm saying? He said, um, Tony Yayo house on fire after uh, Tony Yayo slapped his son. You know what I'm saying? All of that. You know what I'm saying? That's why he in prison for retaliating against G-Unit. Yeah, but he didn't, um, get nine life sentences. Man, so uh, they said it yesterday. He might, he might be getting out on some type of technicality, man. Yeah, because nine life sentences for... I mean, that's arson. Nah, man, it was a whole bunch of charges they booked him with, bro. It was a bunch of stuff. Yeah. You know, murder. Oh, <laughs> you know God. what I'm saying? Um, you know, retaliating at Tony Yayo. All types of stuff. The shooting at Hot 97. Man, it was like mad stuff, bro. Yeah. Wow, um, he did do a lot of stuff. <laughs> but I hope 50 men stay far away from this guy, man. He the one that almost got him killed the first, first time. First time, yep. You know? First time, how he got them shots in him. <laughs> Wow, man. But y'all comment below, man. Let us know what y'all think, man. About 50 Cent, 200 million streams on stars. That's a very good look, son, man. We're proud of you. Salute. Salute. You know Definitely I mean, happy about that, my nigga. You stay up. Yeah, man. On to the shout outs, man. Yesterday was a National DJ Day, and I want to give a shout out to all the DJs in uh, Gun Roo City, man. Definitely, Gun Larry Roo, stand Maddox, up. man. Larry Maddox, DJ Buzzcat, 7 A, you know what I'm saying? PJ the DJ, Shadow, the L1, um, the L1, DJ Poon, you know what I'm saying? All of y'all, 616, you know, man, much shout love. Out. Shout out to y'all, man. Keep working hard, spinning those tracks in the city of Gun Roo. All right, man. Make sure y'all stream Gun Roo's Finest Part 3. The movement is at 25,000 streams. We're going to be working on a new project, man. New one coming soon. Alpha King, be out on the lookout for that. You know what I'm saying? Marine, you got any shout outs? Shout out to my son. Happy birthday, Aaron. Happy birthday, little Aaron, man. We're proud of you. Definitely. Keep the growth Teenager, going. man. Yeah, 14. Man. <laughs> Get man. big. Yeah. The growth is is, is increasing. Word. Definitely. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. We out of here. One love. Peace. Peace. Well, make sure y'all check out Black Cells Matter on Facebook, man. Check them out. They got some really nice stuff on there. Black Cells Matter.